Hello there, I'm Professor Ralf Müller, a veterinary dermatologist from Munich, and I will give you some clues on how to shampoo your dog. Normal dogs don't need to be shampooed at all, but many dogs have skin diseases that greatly benefit from regular shampoo therapy, and even normal dogs sometimes roll in things that we don't like to smell in our houses and thus need to be shampooed to be cleaned. When you shampoo your dog, you need first of all a suitable shampoo. For a dog with skin disease, you should definitely consult your veterinarian because different skin diseases need different shampoos. If you want to just clean your dog, then you should choose a shampoo of a reputable company. You also need towels to dry your dog after the shampoo procedure. For a long-haired dog, you may choose to have a blow dryer ready to speed up the process of drying. And last but not least, remember that we need a certain minimum time for the shampoo to work on the skin. And 10 minutes with a very nervous, unhappy dog in a bathtub can seem like an eternity. And so it's very useful to have a clock handy to check these times. Once the dog is in the bathtub, the first thing we do is soak it thoroughly in water. And the water temperature should be lukewarm for optimal comfort. When soaking a dog, it's particularly important that we don't soak just the hair coat, but the skin underneath. And so we need to work in that water very carefully, particularly in denser hair dogs such as this golden retriever. We should also take great care to soak all body parts, including the legs, the areas in between the legs, the belly, the chest, and the tail. The only exception to that rule being the face, because most dogs don't appreciate the face being squirted up, and we also want to spare the ears. After we soak the dog thoroughly, we actually put the shampoo on in a thin line from the neck all the way down to the tail. We want to get the ingredients of the shampoo onto the skin. So it is very important to really massage the shampoo onto the skin through the hair coat very thoroughly. It is important that the shampoo has time to work and so we want the ingredients on the skin for at least 10 minutes. We can achieve that by massaging the skin or by massaging the shampoo in and letting the dog sit in the bathtub for 10 minutes before we start rinsing it off. You shouldn't use shampoo sparingly because the ingredients of the shampoo are, of course, much more numerous when you use more shampoo. We will rinse off the shampoo until the fluid that comes off the dog is clear. If we then shampoo the dog a second time, and I would strongly recommend that you ask your veterinarian if one or two uh, shampoo goes are required for your dog. Once the last shampooing is finished, especially in longer haired dogs, we try to squeeze the water out of the fur before we use a towel to towel dry the dogs. And in very long haired dogs, we may choose to use a blow dryer as well. 